Wow. Okay. I have been trying to figure out how to do this intro justice because what just happened was beyond my wildest dreams. I just had Laffy the Clown here and I'm truly at a loss for words. I am over the moon for you guys to listen to this episode. He is everything, everywhere, all at once in a human being. I mean, he's done everything. He is everything. Like, I I truly can't sum up this episode in this intro because it's beyond. I do have a little memento to take home with me, which is this balloon poodle, which I'm pretty sure he did with his mouth, question mark. I, I, again... I feel like I'm going to have to go home, marinate, pray, get baptized, and then come back and, you know, really process this whole interview. But wow. I feel like we're going to have to do a part two because he really dropped a bomb at the end of it. He's got some celebrity goss. He's got some industry secrets. Uh, We just didn't have enough time. But wow, Laffy is one of a kind. He's a jack of all trades. And I think he's just going to make you giggle. You know, I got to really quickly plug um, Leisure Hydration, the sweet baby sponsors of this podcast. And mommy's got a code. Mommy's got a 10% off code, ePetros10. Buy it on Amazon, put in your little promo code, and stay hydrated, baby. But most importantly, welcome to Emily Talks too. All right. Hi, Laffy. Hey, you. <laughs> Remind me of the name of the podcast again? Emily Talks To. Hi, Emily. Hi. Hey. This may be a loaded question. Uh-huh. How are you? Well, I feel kind of funny. You feel kind of funny. Yeah. But, you know, it's not unusual. Sure. Sure. Okay, yeah. so I want to get to know you, your life, where you were, where you're going, where you are, all the things. Are you ready? Can uh, yeah, we dip I mean, into it? I can't it? do it all at once, but if you want to hit me one question at a time. Then we'll get into it. All right. Okay. I want to know where you grew up. Wait, hold on. Is Uh-oh. This, is this thing on? Uh-oh. Uh. Okay, we're good. Okay. We're good. I, fe- I feel like we're now ready. It's on. Okay. Okay. Where did you grow up? Where did I, I grew up in, born in LA. Okay. Grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Sure. No, sure. Easy for you to say. <laughs> and were you close with your family, siblings? Well, yeah, I mean, I live with them, so. Sure. But, okay, lived with them, you were close with close them, enough. lived with them, you um, coexisted. Yeah, no, my family was fine. Okay. Yeah, my, uh, got a weird mixture of family. Um, <clears throat> like it says, born in L.A., moved to Cleveland very early in my life. My mom didn't like earthquakes. Okay, I have to say, you told me a story a few minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you came out your mother's womb, a oh. huge L.A. earthquake. Right, San Fernando quake of seventy one. So sure. now you know how old I am. Where's sure. your camera? Nineteen. Yes, nineteen. Um, Cedars of Lebanon Hospital, which is in Hollywood ish. It's Hollywood. Um, my mother was in the stirrups, and then the whole building started, you know, rattling and. As you were coming into to, the world, they had to wheel under the door jam so things wouldn't fall on our wow. on our uh, party we were having there. Are you afraid of earthquakes? No, no, not really. Huh. No. Okay. Okay. No. Uh-uh. Okay, so we're going to fast forward a little bit. Okay, but wait. So Cleveland. You moved to Cleveland. Grew Cleveland. up there. Cleveland. Okay. As soon as I got out of uh, school, I got on the nest and headed back to California, San Francisco, then L.A. Okay. So I've been in L.A. for the last... 25 years or so. so you moved to california in your late teens early 20s no no early 20s okay yeah. post-college yeah, yeah. years yes okay okay you assume i went to college wow <coughs> i mean oh who's to say right. so then what were some of your early jobs pre-clowning oh man i i i go through jobs like underwear i don't know where i would start on how many jobs hmm. i'll give you a couple picks i was uh first job was at a salon mm-hmm. my mom's a hairstylist so i got a job at her salon sweeping hair making coffee doing laundry um now just rattle off a bunch die cast factory rena center convenience stores drive through beverage uh then uh professional jobs um 
I worked for the Department of Natural Resources for a while. I was a junior high school teacher, elementary school teacher. Um, and uh, and then uh, other stupid jobs. You name it, man. Just what that, were you a teacher in? A teacher? Did you say an elementary school teacher? Did junior I high, okay. elementary. <clears throat> what did you teach? Started in elementary, and that was a little, that was hard. The kids all peed, were peeing still, you mm-hmm, know, first mm-hmm. graders. <clears throat> and then they moved me up to junior high, which was a fresh hell that I did. Yeah, I, I forgot say, what it was worse. like to be in junior high. But I remember it being horrendous. Sure. But boy, they were awful people. Mm. Those junior high schools were awful kids. Were they mean to you or mean to each other? Well, I mean, they can't help but just be awful. jerks. They're jerks at that age. Yeah. Right. They're not right. really kids. So they can't, you, they're not expected to act like kids, but they can't act like adults. Sort of this weird, like... Purgatory. Horrible purgatory. It's estuary of just awkwardness. So. Yeah. Do you like being around kids? Uh, <clears throat> you know, they're cool when it's fun time. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I thought, you know, oh, you're good with kids. You'll be a great teacher. Mm. But it's... Surprise. When I'm, we're doing this work, it's all fun and games. And everything's fun. Right. So the kids but are having a great time. But you create the fun. Right. So yeah, you. well, I mean, that's what that's the job. Sure. Teachers can't create fun all the time. So as soon as it's not fun at all. It's miserable. It's horrendous. And even right. when it is fun with junior high schools, they don't they don't like anything. Do they even have fun? Like what is fun in junior high? I don't know. I mean, now it's t- just TikTok or whatever. Like Are you on TikTok? Phone. No, I am actually. My uh, I have stepkids. Mm-hmm. Um, they're on TikTok. One of them is on TikTok. Okay. And she made me a TikTok page. So it's on there. Can find Laffy on TikTok. I can't wait. Laffy Pants on TikTok. I can't wait. There's not much on there. Just Instagram, a little sprinkling. Instagram's more fun. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So then, when did you? When and how did you become a clown? When did that start? Okay, let's see. Um, I was just out of college, mm-hmm. and uh, I never really liked clowns ever. Like as a kid, my mom asked me if I wanted a clown at my birthday. I'd have been like, shit, no. Right. These guys suck. I I would ask for like the a werewolf or a. You know, Frankenstein monster or something like that. Okay. I was into, into the, that kind of stuff. Dinosaurs. I wasn't into like clowns I thought were just goofy. Mm. Um, I didn't realize that like the Three Stooges and Laurel and Hardy and all the guys I loved were clowns because mm. they didn't wear like the big red nose and all that stuff. I thought Bozo was a douche and Ronald McDonald was, you know, weird and whatever. But You had like a one kind of view of a clown. Of, yeah, because most people do. Right. Most people don't think Pee Wee Herman's a clown. He's like a character. Sure. But they, that's all just character clown stuff. So uh, anyway, um, long story short, too late already. Uh, <laughs> I was working at, for a party supply company that built haunted houses. Sorry, I have a Sesame Seed there. We built haunted houses. And that's why I got the job with this party supply company. And because uh, I was into doing horror makeup and effects and all that kind of stuff at the time. Um, I had hated what I went to college for, which was I got a philosophy degree, but I minored in environmental science. You um, are so... All over the map. I love ADD. it. ADD. ADHD, ADD. Yeah, ADHD. See, I can't even remember that. Sure. So um, out of college, I'm working. I, I quit the natural resources department. I was in the department of soil and water. Mm-hmm. Mix those. What do you get? Mud. Yeah. That's about you how fun the, the job was. Yeah. <clears throat> so after about a year and a half, I left that. My my uh, mid-hallway office with no window. Oof. It was pretty dismal. Left that and got a job with this company that did haunted houses. Anyway, we did events, too, uh, in the off-season of Halloween. So we were setting up a stage and a bunch of tables and chairs, and we used these big rubber mallets to pammer the stages together with. And I was I was juggling them, because I learned how to juggle as a kid. I was juggling these hammers, and a guy that we used to hire named Uncle Ed, who was a party clown guy, he'd bring, like, the popcorn machines, the dunk tanks, whatever we got for the... For the event we were doing, cotton candy, all that shit, and uh, balloon twisters. He was there, and he goes, hey, kid, it's pretty good. You want a job? And this is in 93, I think, uh, four. He said, uh, I'll give you a job as a juggler. And I said, well, what's the pay? And he said, I'll start you at 25 an hour. And as a non-performer worker guy, I was like, that yeah, sounds That's pretty, good. pretty damn good. I yeah. mean, even working as a somewhat professional at the Natural Resources Department, I think I wasn't making more than like twelve an hour that back mm-hmm, then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like double what I got. I was like, it's, but I didn't understand it was like, okay, you get one hour today to, to go juggle. Got it. And you have to have an act. Obviously, you can't just stand there and juggle hammers. Right. So anyway, I started off with that, and then after working with Ed for a couple of shows, he said, you know what, you're funny. You should do some clowning. 
And I was like, ah, I don't know. And I knew how to do makeup, so the transition wasn't too hard. Mm. Did a couple parties, <laughs> kind of as a hobby, as a LARF. Uh, about a year later, I found myself driving to San Francisco to to move. I lived, lived moved to San Francisco. Mm. I had some friends living there. Didn't really want to go back to L.A. Went to San Francisco, and I got a job as a uh, events guy, roadie more, doing concerts and stuff, setting up staging and lighting. And uh, it's hard work. So, um, you know, my friend Kevin's like, why don't you just do clown shit out here? There's a bunch of, there's a circus school. San Francisco's a clowny town, whatever. So I made a call to, a, to just a random agency and said, you know, I'm looking for a clown for my kid's birthday. How much does it be for an hour? And they shot back like, yeah, between 150 and 200 for the hour. Amazing. And I was like, okay, let me get back to you. So then I got my shit together, put together a resume and a collage of photos and took it to that agency as well as a few other agencies handing it in person and doing a little audition and started doing clown work. And that was it. Wow. That got the ball rolling. And then from there, you know, just picked up stuff. They'd call me and say, hey, do you do stilts? I'd be like, well, yeah. And then I, that day I went to the hardware store, bought wood, made stilts, learned how to walk on stilts for the gig that was three weeks later. So you kind of pick things up quickly. I just like progress there. Classic. Right. I work really hard up until the deadline. Was it? Um, Can you eat fire? Sure. <laughs> to do with River Clear back in the day. Wow. So, so was yeah. it all word of mouth, or do you have an agent now? Like I, I mean, I've had a array of agents. Okay. It, uh, okay. You know, some are just for events. Some are commercial, mm -hmm. theatrical. Have you worked on sets before, like TV, oh, yeah, movies, yeah. commercials? I've done everything from like stand outside of a used car lot to Hollywood movies. You've done it all. You remember me from such films as? Tell me. Uh, Zombieland. Okay. That's the only big silver screen. I've been in a bunch of B movies, Damn. straight to DVD movies, right? sitcoms, television shows. Damn. Bit parts, like The Clown. Guy riding by a unicycle, guy juggling, guy eating fire, that kind of niche, niche stuff. Yeah. Love it. So then what sets you apart from the rest? Of, of what? Of clowning. Like why? Nothing. Nothing? I don't know. No, don't be humble. Well, there has to be something that, that you know, makes you special. I don't know. I Maybe because uh, I, didn't, I didn't start off as like, I want to be a clown. Okay. I know that... Uh, and this is not an insult to any of the clowns out there. Mm -hmm. But some of the guys that are really, like, enthusiasts about clown, uh, they take it very seriously. Mm. And, and you don't. Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> We're floating on a rock. It's hard to serious. say I take clowning seriously. Sure. Well, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think anything really sets me apart other than I have a little bit of a, a hard-edged... Uh, uh, idea of life and comedy yeah. a, little, a little darker than most clowns does that come out in your act oh yeah 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 okay yeah. i had one uh, party uh, where it, uh, it was a junior high school girl uh she was in seventh grade she wanted a clown to come and scare her friends and then turn good and hang out at the party and do fun stuff wow but i didn't really scare anybody to show up it was kind of a jerk you know I, you were a jerk being a scary was. clown doesn't really you can't be scared for more than a few seconds other than the pop hmm. unless I really start sawing people up. Okay. The fear goes away because it's just a guy in makeup, you know, being Yeah, I goofy. feel like there's that whole gray area, but that gray area is not scary. It's like you're funny, kind of like kitschy scary, and then you're right. I mean, absolutely in broad terrifying. daylight, you're there in the middle of a park. I mean, once the initial threat of a clown showing up, once you start talking to the people, the, the fear's gone. Right, right. I mean, even kids that are scared of clowns, if, unless it's just a visage that horrifies them, once the guy starts talking, unless he's threatening to kill or actually doing some sort of horrid violence, uh, there's really not a lot, of, a lot of threat or fear. Then what do you think makes people so afraid of clowns? Uh, well, one, the grotesque imagery. I mean, everything's a huge gaping maw of a mouth, mm -hmm. usually red. Big nose, a horror, crazy hair. It's 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 a grotesque, uh, uh, what do you call it? The overblown image of some sort of weird monster looking hmm. guy. You know, just a little unsettling. And it's also an, an, the anonymity. Hmm. They don't know who you are. You're this you, like you could do whatever you want, and they don't know who you are. You're in disguise. Well, and it's kind of this like I remember at my grandma's ranch, humble brag. There was this photo of this huge clown, uh -huh. and it was kind of like baroque, and it was Should've smiling. It. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but it was smiling at you, so you thought it should have been a happy thing, but right. there's something kind of like sure. ominous right, about right. it. Have you ever showed up to a job and someone is screaming, like oh, having a yeah, full-blown yeah, meltdown? Yeah. And I've had relatives try to shove those people at me. No. Scare her, scare her. But she's already scared. It's done. <gasps> Job's done. Do you kind of get off to that? No, no, no. That's that's not fun. Let's work wink, a little wink. to get somebody's goat. Okay. What's the point? So then what I mean, are, people are scared of clowns. They're going to be scared no matter what you do. You, you show up and look at them, and they're going to be revolved and, and running in fear. But do they kind of warm up to you by the end? Usually, yeah. The same people are the ones that are asking you for balloons before you leave. Or, wow. Are you leaving? Okay, okay. Yeah. You're like exposure therapy, huh? Yeah, kind of, yeah. I was actually on a, uh, with a couple other bozos on uh, like Maru? Tyra Banks. No. The Face Your Fear show. That actually was in... Uh, Converged with my junior high school job, and the kids were like, "You went on Tyra." I'm like, "Look, I was on. You know, I'm a clown. Sure, I was on the Face Your Fear show." And they're like, "Okay, well, what, and so I told them the day I was going to be on, and of course they juggled the shows. Oh fuck! And mine was going to appear two weeks later, and they're like, "You full of shit, Mister O. You know, like you can't you were, win." I was like, "Okay, well, you can't win." Look. Let me make a call. So at lunch that day, I called the producer and I was like, hey, look, I'm going to buy it. Maybe you can help me out here. You know, I told my kids I was going to be at Tyra Banks. I already have like zero credit with these kids, as cool as I am. You know, I'm going to have my motorcycle to work for God's sakes. Damn. I still don't think I'm cool. You know, I uh, played 33 with the kids and beat them. Wow. They still think I'm, uh, you know, some, some dink. So anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got, they got Tyra to call that afternoon or the next day. And with my Razor phone on speaker, I held it up and Tyra was like, hey, sixth grade, you know. Did you win him over? St. Anthony's. Yeah, oh yeah. Wow. For about two weeks, I got cred. Then I went back to being, you know. So you just need Tyra Banks to, to Every make a call. Every once in a while, yeah. To yeah. kind of keep your yeah. street cred up. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so with every episode, I do a little bit of word association. Okay. So I'm going to throw some words out, and you tell me the first thing that comes to mind. It can be anything. Word, phrase, people, place, what have you. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Ronald McDonald. Great job. Ooh. Harlequin. Uh, Joker. Pennywise. Cute. Zoloft. Gibby. Yep. Okay, we're going to have to circle back to the Ronald McDonald thing, but I've been thinking about this question for days. What are you afraid of? Oh. Honestly, it, it sounds really typical, and uh, but uh, I guess being destitute. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That heights. Sure. Sure. But falling from great heights. Like if I'm in an airplane, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. But if I'm like hanging from a branch of a tree and I'm 60 feet in the air, then Goner. that's bad. Yeah, I don't like do that. Do you ever have to do heights with your job? Well, still, it's, it's only th four feet off the ground. Okay. Destitute. But that's horrible too. I mean, I have uh, broken bones from stilt falls. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately. Huh. Um. Yeah, destitute. I like uh, you look at you know this huge homeless problem. It's in your face every day. Yeah. In yeah. L.A., and uh, I've met people that are like you know living in their cars that were making six figures at mm -hmm. one point in their life. Wow. So that, that's kind of a fear. I mean, that's uh, you know, I've I, I you saw me I drive a camper around a mini camper. Right. Right. And that's my my clown mobile. Mm -hmm. And I've lived in it for time you know times here and there, mm -hmm. not because I had to, but because I was on vacation or mm -hmm. uh, working out of town or whatever. And it's easy to envision, like, what if this was me? Sure. And maybe I have a little bit of a storage space. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm just homeless. And I live out of this van. Hmm. And I have, to, I have to stay up most of the nights or worry about people breaking in or just, you know, I mean, it's really, that's that's hell on earth. That's why uh, we were talking earlier about the hobo clown. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most uh, grotesque existences people can think of. Hmm. You're living, you know, outside. You got no home. You got no friends. You got no people really in mm -hmm. your life mm -hmm. there's no real primary ties mm -hmm. you know you're just out floating you're you know you're the you're the current right so uh yeah that that's that's a fear not that i think it would ever happen to me but you know just kind of I lingering in the back yeah of i mind. mean I, I i drop stuff off i'm a stuff i'm a picker and a collector and 
I grab shit all the time and if people are giving away free stuff, I work on sets sometimes, and that's a huge waste mm. of materials and resources. Like, you'd be on a, a commercial set. I'm like, hey, do you want this? Case of water, extension cords, whatever. They just throw stuff away, hmm. left and right, clothes, anything. Uh, anything I get, I usually take to these homeless camps. They're all up and down between here and Sun Valley, where oh, I'm at. Wow. There's just an immense amount of homeless people in San Fernando hmm. along, the high, along the tracks. Right, right, right. Um, so I think that's uh, originally the hobo clown one of the three main clowns I told you that's something that people kind of they laugh at maybe poke fun at but really I think a lot of people are, are really horrified to think of that as being in existence yeah I feel like a lot of people's fears stem from the fact that that may happen to them at some right. point right, right for sure um is there like a high season for clowning uh like summertime? Yeah, I mean, summertime, obviously, people have more parties, more corporate events, yeah. company picnics, that kind of shit, yeah. And then do you do any side hustles, any um, side gigs? Well, yeah, I do, uh, I'm an art department guy. Okay, okay. So work on set doing that. You just do a little bit of everything. I do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, I also do, uh, God, just handyman stuff, yard work, good okay. light construction, carpentry, Huh. blah, blah. Wow. But, but mostly clowning. I try to keep it mostly clowning. This is the main day. Because that beats working, usually. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Okay, so I want you to walk me through. You know, you just landed a job. Uh, it's the morning of the job. You have like four hours. What's the prep? Oh, geez. That's what people think when you say, okay, my services are whatever, 250 350 whatever for an hour. Mm. Which includes, of course, like magic, games. Balloon twisting, baby face painting, whatever. A lot of shit in one hour. You pack mm -hmm. it in tight. Um, they're like, well, that's a lot for one hour. And then you have to say, well, look, I got to get up in the morning. I have to get all my props together, make sure they're in working order. Mm -hmm. Get all my supplies for the day, whether it's, you know, treats, balloons, paints, whatever. Make sure it's all packed and ready to go. Then start putting on the clothing, the makeup, another hour maybe. Mm -hmm. Then the drive. If I'm coming from the valley to say Pomona to Pomona or Long Beach, mm -hmm. at least another hour, hour and a half to get there. Then another hour for the party, maybe some change, you know, hour 15, another hour, hour and a half back home, mm. another hour to decompress, take everything off and, and unpack stuff. It's a full day. It's a huge full day for, right. for that 250 or 350. Wow. Yeah, if you're lucky, if you can pack up two, three events in one day, since you're already, it's like you're already dirty, you already found the trough, you keep going, just yeah. keep going. yeah. Yeah. Do you then, are there ways where you can kind of, I guess it's up to the person who's booking. Like that would just kind of be luck if you get two events in one uh, day. No, I got two coming up this weekend. Okay. I got uh, another one, a couple more the next weekend, back to back. In LA, it's really tough. Yeah. Um, when I was younger in San Francisco, when I first started doing this bag, I remember doing three or four parties in a day. Wow. And that's exhausting. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's good money. Okay. Yeah, good money. God, when we're younger too, the zest for life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's intense. I feel like traffic's worse now than it's ever oh, yeah. been. Yeah, so it's almost impossible to, to even logistically make it from another party to another sure. party like that. So then, how did you learn to do the makeup? Like, could you do a smoky eye? Uh yeah, I can do a smoky eye. Okay, I don't have to fade makeup. I yeah, I can start with like I said with horror makeup. So uh -huh. a smoky eye is no different than a bruise. <laughs> you know. Okay. Could you do like a little contour? Bruise starts some dark and then lightens up on the way out. Huh. So from like you know black to Dark purple to violet to yellowish fade out. Bruise. How did you learn? Like YouTube? Did you have someone? No, there was no YouTube back then. I started doing horror makeup in the early 90s. Wow. Late late 80s even. Okay. Okay. So like I had one gig that was really fun. It was uh, I helped the fire department uh, make blisters and burns and cuts for their instructional videos. You are such an... I mean, how... Who I feel like you've lived fifty lives. I f really feel it. It hurts. You're tired, huh? I'm tired. Man. Yeah, I don't I'm blame exhausted. you. Exhausted. So then you wrap up a job. You're headed right. home. You're back home. Okay. Hopefully, counting a big stack of money. Absolutely. Throwing Although this exposure has been really good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, what do you? I mean, my rent's like a thousand exposures a <laughs> month, so this is working out really well. <laughs> yeah. What I do know you... people that die of exposure. You do what? I know people have died of exposure. What do you mean? With, of clowns? You know, like, no, I'm kidding. But people say, we'll give you the job. Oh. It's exposure. Sure. It's great exposure. And then they're out. Right. So what do you do to wind down? Pretty drink heavily. Yeah. Sure. I don't blame you. No, I, mean, I don't know. Just, just relax. I'm, I'm pretty chill these days. I'm getting old, so 
I just come over, relax, maybe throw on a stupid show, have some yeah. food, a couple cocktails. A little hot shower. Cigar. Yeah, Showering. Yeah. Ugh. Or just stay in the makeup. Yeah. And sometimes the makeup stays on for a while. Wow. It's because you're too tired to take it off. It's another job. It's kind of remnants. Yeah. yeah. I feel that when I was in yeah. college and you go out and you have a one night stand and yeah. there's like cum and mascara just yeah. like crisping Jeez. in your eyes. It's horrible. It's harrowing. Are there ever? I rarely come home with cum stuck to my eyelashes. Rarely. But, uh, I have a great remover for that. Perfect. What is it? Yeah, Vaseline? More cum. More. Just reconstitutes and mm-hmm. wipe it right mm-hmm. off. Yeah. See, we learned something new. <laughs> so are there ever days where it's harder for you to separate you from the clown? Yeah, I'm kind of an annoying clown all the time. Mm. Uh, you know, my, my lady gets bothered sometimes because I can't, sometimes just can't turn it off. I just start like verbal diarrhea doesn't make much sense i'm just is that the adhd though yeah probably okay yeah and uh just you know i'm always doing something stupid or funny around the house Hmm. you know so uh do you i feel like there's this saying or concept that you know comedians tend to be the darkest people it's the ones yeah they're horrendous yeah anyone stand up for a little while too jesus christ well not long not long enough to even get paid you know it's more like Five minutes here, ten minutes there. Here's your Kessler. Hit the bricks, kid. Wow. Work on your shit. But do you resonate with that idea that, you know, the people who bring joy tend to be Yeah, the well, most that's that's the old quote from I think it's uh, who is it? Mark Twain said uh, secret source of joy is sorrow, something like that, or hmm. comedy is sorrow, yeah. Okay. So okay. yeah, most of the really good comedians I know are, are just horribly dismal people. Are clowns the same? Uh yeah. Or or just I don't know, man. So I, again, uh, not to disparage my club bros out there, but <laughs> I don't hang out with them very often. I have two friends that are clowns, I think. And why not? I, they're just annoying, and they're really like guarded about their craft. A lot of them, kind of like comedians too, huh? Like they're afraid of seeing people are to steal their shit, or yeah, are they like competitive steal their jokes. Or oh yeah, yeah, it can't right, be, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, for sure. So two clowns is the max. Yeah, well, I, know, I have some other friends that are magicians and stuff. They're kind of borderline clown. Okay. You know? I interviewed a magician here. Oh, yeah? Which and one? I, uh, his name is Will Coyle. He... <laughs> Can't say that. I know the guy. He's trippy. I mean, he's so talented, but he was talking to me about kind of like the politics, and it's some people stealing oh. tricks and Yeah, yeah, it's a big thing. And and some, some guys get really bent out of shape about people stealing stuff. I, right. I have a friend that got bent out of shape about me use the same trick he does and I'm just mm. like, do, it, do it in a different way and whatever it doesn't matter but right you know yeah some of you guys are real guarded about that so you said you have a lady yeah how long have you been with her <sighs> seven blissful years wow yeah. and does she love the clowning i mean she likes clowns okay she's a puppeteer oh and a toy God. designer so match made in heaven kind of yeah does she uh-huh. work at um What's Bob Baker yes. or Bob Barker, as people like to call it. Uh-oh. Um, is this thing keeps like... I know, it keeps drooping. Like blue Chew. Are you Hold on. sponsored by Blue Chew or... Tea? <laughs> no, it's a T. It's a, no, don't worry about it. We're good. I think we're good. Look, I'll just do this. No, no, no. Okay. That's okay, yet looking. again with go. the okay. droopy mics. There we are. No, it's so okay. So low budget. I fixed I'm it. so sorry. I fixed it. I yet fixed again, it. another thing you can do. I do, yeah. Wow. Tea, do, do, do. So How's the hair looks? Okay? Perfect. You sure? Exquisite. I feel like it's losing its shape. Never. Actually so impossible. Well, I put a little moose in earlier. Oh, he pulled keep, a moose out. keeps it in place. He pulled a moose out of his hair. That's right. Can little, you believe little it? Little moose. Wow. What other uh, little tricks? Oh, some confetti. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, I brought balloons, of course. I thought no, you'd you want a balloon. Well, yeah. Uh-oh. He's or, got a long, thin balloon. What's he going to... Oh. <laughs> this is a hard part of the job. Yeah, I was going to say, that. you can't blow into it. Oh. Oh. Try, try later. We'll circle back. I feel like I failed. Tell you what, I'll make I'll make a, a compromise. I'll make you the balloon animal. Okay. But I'm not gonna blow it up. Okay. Oh my god, he's eating the balloon. Look at you. What's he gonna do? We'll do his at home. We'll try his at home. He's fully just munching the balloon. I should have brought my balloon pump. Really. As long as you're feeling tender from what do you want? Uh Tape it? puppy dog? Octopus. Horsey? Octopus. How about an, a horse? A horse. Horse. Here we go. Here we go. Please don't choke. Uh 
Oh. Oh. My God. There you go. How did you do that? Well, I started with cherry stems uh, back in the day and just worked my way up. He made a little tiny horse out of yeah. this balloon. Is this on? Is it camera? Holy. Yeah. Yeah, what? What? Um, hold on. We're taking a picture of this. You're lying. No way. Also, you did that in like three seconds. Sorry, seven seconds. Damn. All right. Ooh. 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 All right. How did you learn how to do that? Well, like I said, I started with cherry stems and bars back in the day to impress the ladies. Okay. And then I worked my way up to balloon animals. So were ladies just obsessed with the fact that you were a clown? Like, was that? Yeah, they're like, oh, one? hey, Bill, you're that, right? Wow, All big right? feet. Uh-oh. You know what they say? <laughs> a lot of soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of soul there, yeah. And so your okay, ladies... Can I use this? Is loose please, side, right? okay. please, put them up. So your lady's a puppeteer. Yes. And do you, is she with Bob Baker? She was for years. Okay. Um, she worked there when they were still in Echo Park. Mm. Okay. So she hasn't been with them since they moved to Highland Park. There is something kind of satisfying about a clown and a puppeteer dating. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. She made a puppet of me. No, like she Like a didn't. mini me puppet, yeah. Is she like putting pins and needles in it? No, no, no. I pain? baby when I'm home. I do have a lot of pain. Yeah, wow. Uh, but no, I use it in the show sometimes. Okay. A little laughy. Uh, she's she's going to be going to New Orleans Puppet Fest this year. She's going to be performing. New Orleans Puppet Fest, April. First week of April. She's the real deal. She's the real deal. She wow. builds marionettes, uh, manipulates them all, that kind of stuff. She's a good puppeteer. Wow, wow, wow. Good kid. I would love to circle back. Let's circle back. What were we're you talking about? Back to getting into clowning. Oh, right, you right. Said great gig. Great okay, job. So, yeah, I said great job. I know some guys who've done it, and uh, they have, of course, like have you seen the Simpsons episode where Homer gets a job as a regional crusty. What's a crusty? What, crusty the clown. What's a crusty? Yeah, what's a crusty? Hey, you're the one just talking about coming your eye. You should know that. Oh, a crusty. Crusty the clown. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he was a regional crusty after he went to clown school. Crusty mm -hmm. the college. Crusty college or whatever. Clown college. Mm -hmm. Crusty clown college. Um, Wait, K -K -K. hold on. There is a clown college? Well, I, there is a clown college in real life, but in the Simpsons, Homer went to crusty got clown it. school. Got it. And got a job as a crusty doing personal appearances at restaurants and wherever, mm -hmm. you know, kids' parties. So there's the same program for Ronald McDonald hmm. where they would get guys in every major market to play Ronald for store appearances or fundraisers or whatever. Hmm. So it's a great gig. I mean, obviously McDonald's, they pay well. And you worked for him. Are we I worked with, this? I actually got the, the privilege of working with Ronald for about 10 years. Doing clown? Uh, you know, we would take Ronald to shows okay. at, festivals fundraisers like i said same thing as a crusty thing huh he had a production truck with a stage and sound system and is this in the 90s 2000s this was from like the late 60s i didn't do it then but late 60s all the up until all the way up until 2018 i think they cut ronald from the from the corporate biz and did they cut it because people are afraid of him i think it was a variety of reasons mm -hmm. you know i think uh clouds became more uh scary and kitsch than they were Back in the day, I mean, everybody had a clown kind of selling stuff for him back in the day. Right. You know, and now it's like, well, it's weird because clowns are scary. You see more clown outfits at Halloween Town, in like, but it's all in a scary. The spooky ones. Yeah, spooky, yes. Yeah. Yeah, horrifying. Yeah. Way, yeah. Terrifier, It, you know, all that kind of stuff. Wow. But, Do yeah. you like those movies? Eh, yeah, there are. I mean. Meh. Okay. And where do you get these clothes? Where do we, where? Uh, these are all custom made. Uh, Calvin Clown. You okay. may have heard oh, of that Oh, not Calvin but Clown. The, but no, the, the pants, uh, I actually had somebody make these for me years ago. Okay. And the vest is just thrift store, put on some different buttons, coat thrift store, shirt thrift store. I think this is Hollywood Toys, you know. Just a smorgasbord. The hat, I think, is a very nice hat from Mike's what? Millinery. It's a... Uh, Balance that. <gasps> you know, that Stop. Kind of yeah, you did yeah, it. You yeah. flipped it. That's right. Is there a piece or like a a toy or a part of your act, piece of clothing, something that is so special to you? Like that really, if you lost it, it would be the end of it. Oh, geez. I don't know. I mean, the hat, I have a, another hat that's like this that I made mm -hmm. that does uh, It's black and it's red. It's kind of more of my cabaret slash hobo clown hat. Mm. That I think would be. That would be devastating because that's a one of a kind. Okay. You know. Is it expensive? I mean, are these like the custom made clothes? Oh, what's he doing? How? 
How? It's a very deep. It's like Doctor Who's. Oh, do we get? Oh, oh look, look at it. For oh, anyone oh, who's sorry. listening to this episode, you have got to watch the video because he's got so many tricks up ups his sleeves. Ups my sleeves. Wow. Yeah, no, I, I, there's nothing really I'm really attached to. Uh huh. Um, you know, all this stuff can be found again or bought again. The hats, custom though. Okay. Yeah. We're not fucking around with the hats. And the shoes were a gift from Ronald. Is that a gag? Are you serious? Yeah, they're a gift. You wow. can't say. Sorry. See, Ronald they went. They ended the Ronald McDonald job mm. for these guys that were doing a lot of ex league guys do it actors mm-hmm. they would get people like that to, to come in and do ronald mm. uh because there's a lot of pr it's a pr position so you're glad handing you're doing uh a lot of uh speeches mm. fundraisers walk for kids that kind of stuff mm-hmm. so you get people that are personality driven like i said you. either former performers oh well, i worked very closely with ronald mm. yeah like one of his assistants okay i was a helper is we worked very like closely. We were like this. Just, oh. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, oh. I feel like this is going to be like a Netflix documentary. I'm like a little worried. Well, I feel yeah, like speaking you're being of documentaries, let's segue a little bit. Remember where we were. Put, it, put a little hash. A pin. Okay. Uh, hash pin. Uh, there's a, a documentary coming out in 2025 called American Cloud that was made by a couple of clowns, I think. Are you in it? I am in it. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. You might even see, you'll see me without makeup in that one. Shocking. I can't even match. When you came here, I told you, I can't tell if you're 30, 40, 50. I, yeah, I don't mystery. use clown what? I use spackling paste. Mm, really hides yep. all the. Fills in all the wrinkles. Right, right. And plus the nose, you know, it's like <laughs> latex rhinoplasty I got here. <laughs> okay, what's in the bag? You brought some. Oh, yeah, I brought some stuff. Some stuff. Actually, you have you know a what? mallet. I need, I need a, a little, a little yeah, tissue. My nose is full here. Um, I'm sorry, I, I quit. Uh, Got to apologize. My nose is really clogged up. I quit quit doing cocaine recently. Sure, it's been the worst. I 17, feel like clowns it's been the would worst do that. seventeen minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Oh, um, okay. We got a dollar bill. Yeah, in here? Okay, so the satchel of goodies. Oh yeah, look at this. What the hell? <gasps> he has a sword that is going in his mouth. How? 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 <gasps> I'd like to tell you. Oh, my God. But I'm not at liberty <laughs> to discuss God. secrets of the trade. Yeah, no, I, you know, I've, uh, I do some freak show stuff. In fact, a while ago when freak show stuff became really popular, I decided that's something I want to do. Freak show is in haunted houses. Are well, they no, like, like you show know, I was shows? a blockhead, sword swallower, and it just didn't agree with me. What do you mean? It's too much iron in your system. You know, hammered ha- nails up your nose, swords down your throat. It's not fun. It's nuts because I genuinely can't tell when you're joking and when you're serious. I'm serious. Too much iron in your system. <sighs> See, this is tough. <laughs> He's blowing some more balloons. Oh! There you go. <gasps> huh? Okay. Okay. He's blowing right, up a ready? balloon. What is he gonna make? What is he gonna make? Oh my! Oh! 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 This is R rated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm speechless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to the people that are listening. You just have to watch this. He is eating a long, very long balloon. How? 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 <sighs> no. Hold on. Oh. Where'd it go? Hold on. A little twist. Okay, twist. It's hard to do when you're sitting down. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. How? Well, How? I've been told I put the poo in poodle. <laughs> there you go, kid. Oh, there's a real one. That one's not spinning. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I actually don't have words. That's pretty good, right? Okay, did you swallow the balloon? Uh, duh. There's, there wasn't, wasn't any crafty here. I got to do something. How the fuck did you make a poodle? Out of a balloon? This That's is cuckoo bananas. Wow. Okay. I am going to be looking this up. What's that? Now riddle me this. Yeah. Where do you learn this? Learn what, how to make balloons? Yeah. Well, now, I mean, you can learn anything online. That's the thing. Back in the day, um, they had a VHS, this guy no named Dennis Farrell. 
Dennis Farrell. He uh, put out a balloon magic, a VHS that taught you how to do, like, you know, all the basics. Okay. okay. Teddy bears, poodles. But now you can just go online and find out, you know. Does that kind of, like, make it lose its specialness now that anyone can learn these things? It, it would if kids didn't give a crap about learning. Hmm. Because most kids, like, they have everything at their fingertips, and they don't do shit except watch, you know, cat videos and people falling We're off We're all consumers and stuff. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, Holy yeah, it would concern me, but, you know, you have to make an effort to find it, even though it's there. And then you have to make an effort to learn it. It takes a long time. Yeah. And then perfect it. Same with magic tricks, too. You right, know? right. So. I can't, I, yeah, this is, I'm going to be thinking right. about this for a long time. The old balloon? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we end, I don't know I like why making balloons. We, you like making them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What it's else do you make? tough business, though. Clowning or ballooning? Ballooning. What do you mean? You know, with inflation and everything. <laughs> Oh, this guy. Clowns are not to be laughed at. This guy. Okay, so wait, let's get some more. Okay. Let's, where's the hard-hitting questions well, here? Well, I do say, you know, I end each episode with the same question. We're it's ending a, already? It goes by so fast. Are you serious? Really? Yeah. We didn't so get fast. dirt yet. Jeez. Is there any dirt that you want to spill? Well, I mean, there's all kinds, I guess. Any secrets? Any deep, dark secrets? Any Illuminati information um, that you've been no, in the business? No, 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 no. This thing's drooping again. I know. I know. We got a droopy oh, mic. Wait, wait, hold, what is this? <gasps> oh. Typical. You know, I wish you could go one non scar without this happening. The ribbon. You know. Here it goes. Here it goes. I don't think it's going to be, we're going to run out of time. Just because it's so long. Where do you buy stuff like that? That's what she said. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. I shouldn't make fun of stuff like that. Why? Long dicks? I'm hung like a baby. You are a baby? I'm hung like a baby. hey oh. Yeah, you know, six pounds, eight ounces. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, he's got a flask. What, you're saying, what does it say? One. Cheaper than therapy. Are you in therapy? Am I? Yeah. No. Bummer. I was, but then they changed it to... Here, I'll mix this later. They changed it to uh, Zoom, and I can't, I can't get Therapy on that. Zoom is trash. Yeah, I can't do it. It's you know? so expensive as it is. Well, well like my girlfriend told me is that I don't need a therapist. I need a psychiatrist. Probably both. They're the ones that give you the pills. Yeah. Yeah, a therapist doesn't really do that. Sure. And it's she, weird that the psych- She said that uh, her, uh, her psychiatrist actually uh, <laughs> is a better therapist than her therapist. Interesting. Because so they just try. give out the drugs. Yeah, it's better. Laughing to be honest good. with you. Yeah. Lexapro is a beautiful thing. Who? Lexapro. It's a wonderful. Lexapro. Just five milligrams, just a little kiss of a little SSRI in okay. the bloodstream. All right. It's It really kicks you into No gear. idea what you're talking about. I'll give it a it's shot. It's an antidepressant. It's I'm a more beautiful like thing. like into illegal drugs. Okay. I feel edgy and cool when I do those. Sure. Do you have a favorite drug of choice? Oh, God, no. They're all, I mean, they all have their own charm. Are you up or down or? I'm both. I like it all. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm well-rounded. Okay. Yeah, I go, you know, one arm, one arm out and one leg up. hey You know? <laughs> I feel like you would be a fun time to watch you doing ayahuasca. Like, I feel like that Ooh, would be. Oh, that might be too much. That's I don't know too I, heavy. I don't know if I need a vision quest. Okay. Yeah. Something like a light, like an LSD, a little. Uh, shrooms are all right, you know. Okay. All right. Yeah. I've been dying to try them. What? You, never done them. You've never done shrooms? Never. You, you've done ayahuasca? No, but oh, I okay. honestly do think I want to do oh. that too. Well, I'd go shrooms first, work okay. your way up. Okay. Slowly. Yeah, yeah ayahuasca, that's a that's an investment. Yeah, I don't, don't want to fly to Costa Rica, you know, right. and be in the woods. Right, right, right. And just die for three days. Right. But come back. Okay, Laffy, we yes. end each episode with the same question. Okay. It gets a little deep. You don't have to oh make boy. it deep. But what do you wish more people understood about you? That can be within the context of clowning. That can be within the context as you as oh. yourself. Oh, God, this is terrible. You should have prepped me with this one. <laughs> it's on the spot. <laughs> what I wish more people understood about me. Mm-hmm. Just like people that I know or just people, strangers in the street. Could be anything. What resonates with you? I think it generally can work well with strangers like what do you feel like is misunderstood about you i'm not as cool as i look mm. yeah deep down i'm kind of a nerd and uh well that's not true i'm really cool <laughs> <laughs> you know is it that you wish people thought that you know, clowns have a deeper side to them. Are you just kind of like, fuck it? We're all no, no, on a rock. I'm pretty, I'm pretty like, I like frivolity. Mm-hmm. I know, I know with the, uh, 
that life is fleeting and mm. I, I try to take things too seriously if I can help it. Yeah. I feel like people need to yeah. take a little bit of that with them. Yeah. 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 People take things too seriously. Yeah. But at the same time, I take a lot of really trivial stuff seriously. Like what? I get like person. I feel like there's when certain small things happen to me, I take it as like a personal affront mm. instead of just letting it roll, letting it roll, you know. Off the sleeve. Yeah. Off the big. It's shoes. like the big disastrous stuff I don't give a shit about. Isn't that funny. I kind of feel the same way. Yeah. Because the bigger things feel out of control. Exactly. It's like tits out. Exactly. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Well, you heard it here first, Laffy the Clown. Like wars. Yeah. Screw war. Free that one country that's getting bombed. <laughs> Perfect. You know, you I heard don't it here first. Anything. I know a lot of people that are on the fence on that whole issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Laffy the Clown, you're a dream. All right. Well, I'm gonna that. put your website. I Speaking want people dreaming, to book man, you. I slept like a baby last night. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shit myself twice and woke up crying. Oh, for heaven's sake! Did you bring the shit with you? No. Well, it's funny you should say that. He's got another trick. End with a banger, babe. No, you know, we're Burbank, you think, is a pretty sh like fitzy neighborhood. Look at that. Look what I almost stepped in on the way here. Oh, he's Would that have been embarrassing if I would have stepped in that? in his pocket. I th I'm thinking this is like... That looks so a real. A doodle. what do they call those dogs? It looks like an absolute or a, uh, Or it might be a uh, Maltese. Uh, <laughs> I think that was probably from last night. Don't eat it. No, see, you wipe with the fan. And then a little taste. This is actually from the uh, Department of Natural Resources. This is a fox turd. And that is what we call a callback. Uh, that's exactly, yeah. Wow. Exactly, yeah. Well, Laffy, you're I can sit and talk all day. Yeah, I, I, I came so prepared, and we barely scratched the surface. I know. Well, all maybe the Hollywood we'll do a part parties two. I've been to and celebrity secrets and, you know. We got celebrity. Okay, we're going to have to do a part two, Laffy. We can do a part two. Okay, what's your website? How can we? Laffypants.com, L-A-F-F-Y-P-A-N-T-S. Mm -hmm. Look out for a new documentary next year called American Clown. Look for a new game show coming up. Hopefully it'll be sold by the end of the year. Can't give you the name or anything yet. It's still being sold. A la Laffy. Um, and uh, Laffy Pants at IG. Laffy Pants at Facebook. Laffy Pants on TikTok. Little Laffy on Instagram. Again, L-A-F-F-Y, like the taffy. L-A-F-F-Y-P-A-N-T-S. Amazing. Laffy Pants the Clown. Look him up. Book him. <laughs> it's been a real pressure. <laughs>